Good morning, you guys. It's 8.46 Monday morning and I am up to no good, honestly. I've been in the kitchen doing a few things. So I made orange juice from scratch because my son has been bringing a bunch of apples. I know these are tangerines. Or if I my sons are bringing a bunch of oranges so i was like what should i do with them what should i do with them i didn't want them to go to waste so i made some orange juice i'm gonna add some ice to that in a second but anyways yeah i have a whole collection over there if you guys can see that and i also made like a strawberry pure a so super nice and fancy um i'm super excited to try this on top of my cheesecake i made this kind of stuff before oh but this time, I think I like perfected the recipe. Not sure why I was being so quiet in these next few clips, but basically, if you like how this cheesecake looks, you can go check out my last video. Also, my editing skills have been getting so much better, so thanks to me. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Okay. <laughs> Hello, good meal. Nah, we gotta brush our teeth after we eat our breakfast. Hi. <laughs> okay, you guys, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I was able to shower and get ready for the day. I am honestly excited for the day, even though I don't have anything planned. I know for sure I have to fold laundry, so that's like on my to-do list. I also want to mop the entire house because it's just like super disgusting. And my goal for the week is to get everything in my room like kind of like deep clean and organized because i want to start decorating now we're outside the kids are gonna play in the pool and i'm gonna read my book this is by russ he's my favorite artist of all time and so i had to buy the book when i found out he had a book i've had it for a while though and i just haven't picked it up well i did like a few pages but as you can see i did do a few pages but i have not gone through it so i'm gonna start it over and see if I mess with it. Can't forget the turtle because y'all know. I like to bring him out when we hang out here. But the other day, I freaking forgot him. He almost had a dog attack part two. 11.30 now. My husband actually came for his lunch. I just made him some noodles and like a pineapple drink to go. And I've been like busy cleaning up around the house trying to find his hard hat. I don't know if you guys know what a hard hat is, but basically it's like one of those like red construction hats that you see everyone wearing. My husband basically has to wear one of those, but it's specific to him because it has like a sticker that like lets him into the properties and it's just like a big old shabam. The manager of like the whole thing was like if you don't show up today tomorrow with it then you're not coming like you know so he came to his lunch he came to lunch today and then he told me that information so obviously i start looking for it like a crazy mad woman even though i looked for it everywhere this morning i just wanted to double check everywhere to this afternoon still can't find it literally checked outside all the cars checked in the garage checked in everyone's rooms nothing bro somebody must have taken it or he must have left it at a job site this plate and he wanted me to make them a little gourmet dish so i did Hello. now he's happy he just doesn't want to share but i'm telling him that's baby, baby, baby. Oh, okay. My baby's snacking. I quickly made a bucket of hot water and I put some of this in. And here, it's something new. I'm trying testing it on my house first. Should be in my room. Mama's um mopping the floor. And that's a wrap. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like it cleaned up there. It's because I forgot it. But I did do the floors. Ah, hi. <laughs> everything's done on the floors and yeah let's go see what this baby oh, no. milk oh my goodness the verdict on that mr clean situation it smells disgusting like it smells good but it leaves like a mildew smell it doesn't leave the house smelling refreshing and bon petit so i will not recommend that my baby wants me to check if you got any more boogers left you got more boogers left yeah you ain't got no book or left. That's a clean news. That's a clean, clean, clean. 
browning up the rice here. Cooking the meat here. My baby's eating some beans right there and he's drinking his probiotic. I believe it's for I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And I also have this little water situation set up for the okay. Now that the rice is getting like a golden brown color, we're gonna pour in that mixture over here. I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit more, a little bit more. So dinner is ready. I actually served everyone up. My husband's already eating. Boom. My kids play. I made them little quesadillas with that rice and beans. I made myself a burrito. It doesn't look appetizing to me to my mom's food. This is my son's food. And yeah. put the guinea pigs out. It's her first time actually roaming around. I kind of want to see what she does. There's not much she can go do. Okay, it's 8.50 in the morning. I'm trying to prep some breakfast for these kiddos. Um, they're going to have a side of pancakes, a taco, which I'm like making because my my honey asked for a taco, a side of salchicha, and then I'm going to be making myself some of that leftover meat from yesterday, and then some leftover rice, and then we're going to throw it on a sole. So does anyone have like a core memory of like making these with their mom because i do like growing up my mom would always tell me to do the masa and you know roll them out and do the whole like creasing of it all anyways i absolutely have that core memory i was always so mean to my mom too i was like oh, no i don't want to cook now thinking back at it i should have cooked with her anyways my child's yelling for mom so i'll be back bye don't get me wrong i wasn't like crazy mean or anything like that but i do regret like not being more helpful and being like yes mom let me cook with you that'll be fun you know having a different attitude towards it anyways i have learned now and i am so grateful that my 12 year old loves to cook with me it's been like all day since i vlogged well not really it's really like one o'clock so but y'all missed out on a few things like my husband came for lunch um i cleaned around my room like laundry i cleaned the bathroom i did a bunch of stuff i even finished my book which i'm here to tell you guys this save me a seat it's like a lower level kind of read it's like for fifth graders sixth graders my son is the one who gave this to me i actually read it and i absolutely loved it it's about two kids going to the same school one of them is like brand spanking new coming from like fucking hungary or whatever not really but like that's the point of it come in okay sorry i thought i heard someone knocking on my door but yeah and then they have like a common bully and then they end up like coming together and like defeating the bully so it's honestly such a good book and it's honestly super easy to read i got through this in less than a week so super Superly recommend. I think you can find it like on Kindle or you can even just go to your local library and just rent it out. So yeah. Then if you guys are interested, I'll even mail this out to you guys. Like do like a little book read situation. That'd be cool. My next read is gonna be this. It's called Outside Wonderland, a novel by Lauren Jane Cook. I'm not really like like I don't know. I'm not like super thrilled about reading this book. But it does kind of draw my attention. Quickly, it just says, When there were just children, two tragedies robbed Alice, Griffin, and Dinah um, of their parents. Now, as adults, their lives seem to be in crisis, each sibling struggling and in need of someone to turn. And without their parents' guidance, their father. But what they don't know is their parents are watching them from a place not unlike heaven. Worrying, smiling, reminiscing, and perhaps even guiding their children as each makes his or her tentative way towards happiness. So come in. So that's basically the gist of the book. So hopefully it's a good read. It kind of seems like heavenly and biblical. So I'm not like super excited about the read. But everything seems like super straightforward to the point. Like just by just kind of reading it. And it's only how many pages? Let's see. 321 pages so i think i'll be able to get this this like completely read by the end of the week that's what i'm hoping we're playing with bella and hey, hey be nice boy hey, the world. hey 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 why are you gonna do that oh my goodness you're being crazy wild to her she's a super cute right we should sleep with her ali mama gotta sleep with bella now
Mama got to sleep on Bella now. Oh, that's a cute little fish. My night are yeah, cute little fish. Like it's a good little fish. Nice. Be nice. It's been a while since you guys have seen me use this punch and bag, so let's use it. This is me pretending to fight the end. Hi you guys, it is like 2.50 now, we're here to pick up the kids, they're running a little bit late, so are we, so I'm glad they are too. It's super hot in the car and we're in my mom's car, so I wanted to show you guys a quick little hack if you guys have like a car without AC or a car with low AC like my mom, like the whole van doesn't have any air in the back, it only has the ears in the front. So anyways, you buy some of these fans right here. And you connect them to your little like outlet. I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. Let me turn it off because I would hate to cause something. So you connect it by this. And it's just a really great fan. I enjoy it. My son is here. Yay. This guy's hot. This guy's hot. And this girl is just turning. Okay, you guys, I went to Walmart because we really, 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 really needed some milk for the kids. And also, I just, I forgot to defrost meat this today. So, I didn't have any meat for dinner. So, I'm going to stop saying so. Stop, stop. Okay. First thing I got is the race. I got these specifically for my sister since she was hanging out with my kids. Got some strawberries. I got some bananas for dessert. I will show you guys what I do with that later. I also got some salad for our dinner tonight. Mm, all right. Come on, come on. I got two lemons. <gasps> I'm so excited yeah. for lemonade. Can you sure I some lemonade? I got some garlic potatoes for our dinner tonight. I got two different kind of dressings for our dinner tonight. This is my husband's favorite. It's the Italian dressing. And then I really like the Thousand Island dressing. I've never tried the, the Wishbone brand though, so hopefully that tastes good. I got some of the ranch croutons. Nice and tasty. And the last thing I got is the rotisserie chicken for tonight. So I'm just gonna, um, slice this up and throw it on a plate with some potatoes and a side salad super super easy i also went to circle k and i got two drinks what type um a coca-cola for y'all and then a sushi for the boys for me and sush uh-huh <laughs> thank you you're welcome baby girl you can grab it i forgot the straw though. i kind of that's fine when i came back home my sister had a busted tooth from my son he threw a car at her so anyways, thank you for taking care of my kid. She got the grapes out of it, and that's good at least. Dinner is ready. 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 Ready.